I'm just chilling there. Hey guys, so we found our way here. We made it to Kai Japanese restaurant, and what we got here is an omekase sushi establishment. We got some excellent fish quality right here. You can see we ordered the sea bream already. I'm excited to see how it tastes, and let's get this rolling. Alright, so we already ate one of the Seabreeans, but we didn't get a reaction, so I'll kind of show it to you again because I have to say this was pretty good delicious. So, on the top we have the caviar, and then we have this nice glaze on top. Um, let's take a bite. That is so good. That is so, so good. <laughs> 9 out of 10 would recommend. The only thing is I think it could use a little bit more quantity, but I mean, we're eating at a high class sushi establishment. I mean, what else can we expect? But this is excellent quality seafood right here. Alright, so next up we got our boy Brandon, um, he ordered this foie gras nigiri, um, and that looks excellent. I have to say the presentation is beautiful, uh, but we'll see what Brandon has to say after he tries a bite. So let's see it, Brandon. First bite. Reaction. What do you think? You can't talk. It's good. It melts, man. It melts? Yeah, oh, you also like want to go into detail on what uh, foie gras is? <laughs> Goose liver. Goose liver. And it's um, great. It's actually quite inhumane to make, but it tastes damn good. All right. Well, there you have it. One of the most expensive dishes we ordered, the foie gras nigiri. Brandon loves it. Yeah, it's great. Shouldn't you have more, though? Just like your seafood. All right. Third on our list, we got Alan. He ordered. What did you order? Uh, the spicy salmon rice. Wait, do that again. Third on our list, we got Alan. He ordered some nice food. Wow, this looks amazing. Um, you mind telling us what you ordered? Yeah, so we just ordered the crispy rice with salmon, spicy salmon, uh, which I can handle because I am the beast. And um, we're gonna try it. All right, let's see how it tastes. Let's see what we think. Oh yes, bite that. Mm. Wow. Really good? Really just a great blend of flavors. You got the spicy tuna. I mean not the spicy tuna, the spicy salmon. And usually I don't like raw fish, but in this case, it's amazing with this crispy rice. It's like a rice cake. I was expecting it to be like rice, but it's actually just a rice cake, which is even better. Wow, that looks so 10 good. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? 10? All right, 9, and I mean... Wait, wait, wait. 9.5 out of 10. 9.5 <laughs> All right, all right. What could be better? Well, I mean, looking... I actually ordered the same thing. I got the, the tuna version of this crispy rice, and um, we'll see how it tastes next. Michael's right. gonna try... Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Michael's gonna try... His version, he got the knockoff version of mine, which is the tuna, no, the no. spicy tuna. Tuna's better, my dude. And uh, he's gonna try it out. Let's see what he got. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. What do you that think? That is so good. Yeah. Tell the viewers at home what you're tasting in your taste buds right now. It's like. Dynamite, just like oh yeah, exploding in my mouth. Like honestly, 
the tuna and the rice cake. I mean, I think it's the crispiness of the rice cake right. and the, the softness of the tuna. Just, I don't know if you guys have had a molten lava cake, but like it's the same sensation. Hot and cold, crispy and like not crispy. It honestly just fills your mouth with flavor and I really like that. But overall, excellent dish. What would you rate it out of uh, 10? Solid 9.5. I think the only thing that's missing is um, it could use a little bit less tuna and a little bit more, um, I guess you could say embellishments. Like I think it's setting in with Asian hair. I taste a hint of the tanginess, but maybe it could use a little bit more. Okay, okay. Do you, would you say that to the chef's face? Um, I think the chef did an excellent job. So. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not go too far. <laughs> So we just made a trade deal with Mr. Brandon. I gave him a little bit of my crispy rice with spicy salmon and we got ourselves a piece of this um, foie gras nigiri. It's a little bit torn apart, but I'm ready to try it. I want to see how this thing tastes. Brandon says it melts in your mouth. I want to feel that. <laughs> really? <laughs> now I want to feel that. It's a little bit hard to gather with my chopsticks, so. Wait, you'd say now I want to feel that. Now I want to feel that. Okay. All right, ready? Yeah. Let's try it. Brandon was absolutely correct. That thing just melted instantly. Like, wow. It, a little crispy it, too, right? it, it was like a little bit crispy on the outside. It was a little bit crispy on the outside, and then it just like felt like it liquidated a little bit. But honestly, I don't know if you guys have had unagi or eel, but this is, seems like a, a more premium quality version of that. Would you say so, Brandon? I think it's like, but I don't know. It was a very interesting flavor, a little bit of uh, punch in there with the foie gras, but excellent. ending our food adventure with probably the finest dish of the night and this is an uni oyster shooter so what's in this well uni is actually sea urchin so I'm excited to try that there's some oyster in here there is sake and there's some quail egg and as you can see it's chilled in ice um, and what we're gonna do is just take it like a shot um, straight down the throat and it's supposed to taste excellent so shout out to our server um, he told us he recommended this dish and I'm very excited to try it. As you can see, it's in this uh, nice little cup. Alright, ready? Gambe. So I kind of missed um, the sea urchin in there. What? So, I'll eat that now. Oh wow, that's good. Wow, that was really good. I think the highlight of that dish was definitely the sea urchin, even though it came last. I think it had the most flavor. Um, oysters have always been my favorite food, raw oysters. It was excellent as usual. Um, but the sake, man, it really, it really blasted in there. I was, I was very surprised. I tasted that. I was like, wow, that is. The sake was <laughs> sake was very strong, but um, overall, I can see why this is considered a delicacy here because it was honestly a very unique flavor, one that you won't get in many places. And I think Kai definitely delivered on um, exactly how to highlight the uni and the oysters. So great dish overall. I would say as the final dish, this was definitely a ten out of ten. <laughs> Wait, move your move your hand. Move your hand. Too dark? No. So we're still hungry, so we decided to get more food. Um, we thought we had a lot of fish today, so we wanted to see what they had in terms of regular meat. So we ordered the pork ribs, which honestly looks fantastic. Um, I'm excited, the quantity seems very great compared to the other dishes, so let's dig in. Wow. Just 
falls right off the boat. So excellent. I was rated an 8.5 out of 10. I think um, I think they went a little bit heavy on the sauce. They went a little bit lighter. Um, they bring out some of the more natural flavors of the meat. But overall, great dish. The meat quality is definitely top notch. Um, yeah, I'm excited to finish the rest of this. Mm. <laughs> Go for it. So we just finished our meal here. It was great quality food. I want to give a special shout out to our server, Charles. He was a fantastic server. Um, but thank you so much, Charles. My we pleasure. Nice meal. Enjoy your evening. Thank you. You too. It was a fantastic meal. We just finished up here at Kai. Food was fantastic. Great atmosphere. High quality food. Highly recommend. Um, I'll definitely be back. But as you can see, outside is very beautiful as well. Kind of just want to get some footage of it. But thank you guys for watching. I had a great time eating and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. And like and subscribe. So here we got our two boys here, Alan and Brandon. Anything you got to say about this place so far? Yeah, very impressed with the vibe. Very expensive. I probably can't afford this, but I'm excited to try it anyways. Yes sir, yes sir. What about you, Brandino? I'm just, I'm just here to try it. I don't know. He's just chilling. He's just chilling. He's just chilling.